Hi there. My name is Susan. I live in Toronto, and I'm an artist. I share a new drawing with you every day on this channel. Many people comment on my shorts, "How did you get so good?" or something along the lines of that. I have to preface that I don't actually think I'm very good. I think there's still room for improvement, and that's a good thing. But to answer the question, "How did I get to where I am today?" The simple and short answer is: I keep drawing. I draw every day. I've always enjoyed drawing, and I've kept on the habit of drawing. If you think this answer is disappointing, and you don't think this is something you can do, let me share a bit more, and hopefully you'll change your mind. I remember when I was a child, I've always wanted to draw, and if you look at children these days. They all seem to love to draw, or are often fascinated by drawing. They have an innate urge to draw. There's nothing special about me as a child who loved to draw. I'm sure many of you like to draw as well. So the real question is, why do most people grow out of it and stop drawing at some point in their teenage or adult lives? When I was in elementary school. In Vancouver, I remember being an outsider because my family immigrated to Canada, and we lived in the super rural outskirts of Vancouver. I mean, it's not even called Vancouver, but I feel like if I mentioned the town where I lived, most of you wouldn't even know where it is. So in this tiny town, I went to the closest elementary school to my house. I remember that school was really small, really tiny, and they don't even have enough students for each grade, so they would combine multiple grades into the single class. In the school, I was known for being great at art and crafts, so much so that the teacher always kept my paper mache or artwork on display in the school. But when I graduated. I didn't get the art award. Another student in my class received it. Now, thinking back, I think the reason is because I received the academic award, and they don't want one child to get multiple awards. But I think, as a child, what it has taught me is that academic is recognized more or worth more than art. It didn't really matter that I was known for art at all. So. I should prioritize academic before art. Do you believe that to be true? I think the older I am, the less convinced I am about that. Because nowadays, art to me is like therapy. Prioritizing art is prioritizing my health. Well, sure, it's important to learn academics as well, but that doesn't mean it should be valued more. Recently, I've been told. That I'm a min maxer. What I in, what I interpreted that to me is, I like to do the least amount of work to yield maximum results. And I think I'm pretty good at this. I've always picked up strategy games really quickly. I would say in both school and in my career, being good at picking out the shortest path forward has always really helped me. I rarely try to be the best. I always try to get myself quickly to 80%. This doesn't work in art. I don't think I am talented. As in, art isn't something that came naturally to me. I was not born with knowing how to draw, and even with practice, there are concepts that I struggled with. For example. I'm not very good at remembering anatomy. Despite my passion for manga as a child, despite loving to draw and paint portraits throughout my journey with art, a lot of you even commented on my pencil portraits. Oh, the nose is too big, or the neck is too long. I agree with you. I suck at remembering the correct anatomy of the human figure. I'm also not very good at being creative and expressive, despite the fact that my favorite painters are expressionists. When I paint, I tend to dwell on the details where I really shouldn't. 
To get myself quickly to 80% in art doesn't really exist. There's no doing the minimum amount of work to get to maximum results. There's no strategy in art, at least not in the traditional sense. So how did I get good or get to where I am today? It's developing a habit or a routine that works for me. So think about your own lifestyle and what suits you. Can you make time for art? Is there a time slot in your busy schedule where you can have it entirely to yourself doing something uninterrupted? Can you spend 10 to 20 minutes a day on drawing? I think for most people, the answer should probably be yes. I think there's a very low entry for art. You don't need to have a lot of resources or money at your disposal. You don't need to have a lot of time either. What's important is drawing consistently. It's not even about every day. It's about making time to practice. Now saying the word practice out loud makes me feel like it's a chore, but it really shouldn't be, at least not for you. It should be something that you enjoy. You shouldn't feel like you're practicing something even though deep down you know you're practicing because you want to get better at it. And you know by doing this, you will improve. It's kind of like playing sports or learning to get better at playing chess or any other competitive games. You should be enjoying the process. Enjoy that it's that time of day to create something new and beautiful and something you will feel proud of. Even though you know it's not perfect, but it's what you made. It's something that you have been wanting to make for a very long time. The key about keeping up with this habit or routine is to focus on incremental growth. It's not about creating a masterpiece. It's about the process of creation. Set minute goals that you're guaranteed to be able to achieve. Don't compare yourself to others Compare yourself to the same you last month or last year. Consider setting up tangible measurements for yourself to track your growth. For myself, keeping a sketchbook and recording my own drawing process has been really, really helpful. So, looping back to my original thought, why did children grow out of the habit of drawing? I think it's distraction. With access to the internet, to other people, friends, to other hobbies, they simply forgot about the simple joy of drawing. I don't think it takes too much to bring it back though. After all, it is a simple thing. You just need a piece of paper and a pencil or pen. You can make something today.